How you doing tonight, my guy? Happy to see you here. Getting the votes in for Jack 2, as always. And still on your losing streak, I see. Oh, boy. Hello to the yub tubs and stuff. We're going to play some more Final Fantasy 16. Uh, let's see. What are we doing? Ah, that's right. Okay, we're in the middle of, like, a story mission. So we're just starting, starting off strong today. No side missions for us right now, dude. That's exciting for me personally, at least. <laughs> um, I'm not going to say there won't be any side quests before the end of the night. I wouldn't be surprised if there is. But there's none right off the bat, at least. Been painting? What you painting, my guy? Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I know. I saw, actually. On Discord, I saw... Da, 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 noodle saw it and showed me the your desk you've been painting your desk right getting it all cleaned up and shit they don't stand a chance against those things oh jesus dude yeah they're getting the shit kicked out of them yeah they're dead <laughs> they're they're all dead gg to those guys uh okay had to see where we were Oh god, there's more of them. These ones are Akashic, though. Oh. Get fucked. Jesus Christ, it's loud, dude. Oh shit, I got... <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I got hit by something, though. Something was not happy with me doing that. Akashic? Hog... Hong... Voldar? What the hell? Oh, I'm fucking this combo all up, dude. Yeah, it's okay. Wait, what? What's okay? Your day today? Is that what's okay? <laughs> I'm sorry your day's just okay, Noodle. I hope it gets better now that you're off work and shit. Ooh. Ooh. He's got some fancy moves, huh? Jumping all over the place and shit. Teleporting around? Look at him go. Oh, you also do that. You're one of those people. With the fire breath and the... Whatever the other move was called. I don't even remember. But we've seen it before. Bo? Oh, I didn't even realize you did Bo. Yeah, Bo looks good. I like Bo. You will have to tell me later. I mean, if it's nothing, like, revealing, you could just say now as well. Unless it's, like, too much to type. Maybe that's the problem. And he did. I doubt there's anything around here for us. Like... <laughs> it was me. I'm the customer. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. If it's about Nate, you can wait. You can just you can vent about Nate later, man. I don't mind. <laughs> I'll listen. I'm sure it's perfectly reasonable. Whatever it was. Your complaints about him. That is not Nate. Nate's never reasonable. He's always a pain in the ass. Fuck you and your armor, you dick. All right, where's the healers? Is that the Ganfrayers? Are Ganfrayers healers? Oh, I see healing happening. None of that bullshit. Wait, who's doing the healing now? Well, not the healing, but casting protect. I mean, I guess it could just be like a normal dude casting protect. It doesn't necessarily need to be a dude that does heals. Alright, somebody's casting this shit, though. Whoever it is is about to get their shit rocked, dude. Are they just casting it on each other? None of them look special. Or is it you? No, you're just fodder, too. Bruh. Who's being a dick? Well, they're all dead now, so... Wait, wait. It's you! There's another Ganfrayer! Get fucked, Ganfrayer.
Wait, what? That broke our. What That's happened dumb. to the Royal Army? There's nothing but monsters here. I mean, I think we know what happened to the Royal Army, dude. Odin slash Barnabas is a dick. That's what happened to the Royal Army, man. Well, I mean, okay. It's, <laughs> Ultima's probably the one that actually did it to them, but Barnabas let it happen. Colluding with him like some ass, dude. Helping Nate with pork rinds and donuts. It was the worst. My God, dude. No wonder your day sucked so much. Pork rinds and donuts? Like, Jesus, man. One or the other I might be able to handle, but both of them? You gotta tell us, though, Nate. Did you, like, crush up the pork rinds and sprinkle them on top? You know? Give it a little crunch, a little bit of sprinkle, sprinkle on top. Get that salty, sweet kick, you know what I mean? Honestly, if they're just like regular salted pork rinds, it might not be the worst thing in the world. <laughs> just dipping a donut down in them. I'd fuck with it. Like, it was a delivery? Sure it was. Sure it was. Probably the whole reason you door dash, man. Just so you can blame all your weird ass orders on other people. I get it. At the same time, though, I see you, man. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I thought we blocked it. <laughs> I can't see shit. Oh, God. No, let me out of here. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. That dude had us pinned in a corner. Okay, we're still kind of pinned in the corner here. Hello? Excuse me? Uh, we probably shouldn't be wasting this shit early, but get fucked, you dick. annoying regular customer always on something super bouncy super obnoxious that's called drugs kids um he's leaving the first time i saw him in the store he's running back in the door grabbed the lighter from the register lit a cigarette in the cup he put the light <laughs> oh that's hilarious dude <laughs> i mean if i worked there i'd probably be annoyed too but like as just an outsider i kind of find it hilarious i'm not gonna lie Get fuck you dick hole. Nope, nope, no oh god. Oh wait, he's still spinning, ain't he? Yep, we tanking. Come on, dude. I was gonna say you are so fucking staggered, man. Accept your feet. We got nothing, nothing, not a goddamn thing to use on him. Oh, he's dead. We don't need it. We don't even need it. GG, big dude. Get fucked. Um, okay, where are we going? I'm guessing this way. The only way it'll let us go. Any chests or anything, though? Anything interesting to find at all? Probably not. I'm gonna say this is probably the year's worst RPG game. <laughs> not worst game, not by far, but <laughs> not not the worst game at all, dude. But worst RPG game, I think it won that title. The RPG mechanics kind of fucking suck, dude. Let's be real with each other for a minute. And they suck as in there isn't any. <laughs> you, you get to make like a couple tiny choices that have no effect on the game. Uh, you don't get to choose how you level up. There's very little, I don't know, anything interesting happening. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, outside the main story. The main story and combat system are fucking dope. I know I've said it a million times, but Jesus, man. It's really amazing how much that saves the game. That sounded big. Joshua and Jill must be busy. More fodder. Get fucked. This is still my favorite. That'll always be my favorite fucking 
whatever it's called whenever they're down, dude. And we attack them. Like, we just punt them into the fucking air. <laughs> and then launch them ac across the world. Like, that's sick as hell. I love it. Oh, you're big. Hi. <laughs> you're big, big. Oh, and you can teleport? That's pretty cool. How can I learn to teleport? I want to teleport. Oh, Jesus, that's a paragraph and a half, love. Customer very shortly after, also regular. He was on the phone, had me ring up his stuff, said he forgot some candy bars. That's fine, he went to get them. Customer comes up behind him and tell him it'll be a minute. He comes up, you ring the candy bar up, he asks for the bathroom key and goes to the bathroom before paying for his order. <laughs> oh god, dude. Ah! This guy knows the Kamehameha wave! Get fucked, Mr. Warlord. Punch you in the dick. No, I'm not. <laughs> because this is scary. I don't know what you're doing here. Ugh. Bad Warlord. Damn you. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Can I get out of here, please? Okay. Corrosive. Nice. Too bad he's gonna fucking teleport. Can we just like kill him by any chance? No. Oh wait, yes, let's go! The city's leaders gather. There may still be survivors inside. Yeah. I don't know, man. They're probably dead dead. Is it this way? Or is that the way we just came from? Where I can't tell. I don't remember. No, this is the way we came from, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wrong way. Turn around. i put the rice away and get your shower now. Okay. Enjoy your... I almost said your rice. Your shower, love. We had rice for dinner. It wasn't bad. I mean, not just rice. We had some... Fried up some, like, chicken and bacon uh, with some onions and put that over the rice. I also had cabbage, but Noodle doesn't like her vegetables, so... Where are they? They're probably dead, my guy. Nah, we're gonna find somebody alive. You know, for the drama, Does like. Does Ultima's reach extend this far? Bro, I'm pretty sure there's nowhere Does Ultima's reach doesn't extend here? to. If we be in real for a moment. anymore yeah there's a bunch more oh fuck you with your protect you assholes get rocked <laughs> oh shit some of you are still alive fuck you and your protect you ass Oh, that was dumb. There was nobody around. I just I just did that to be showy, you know? I want people to see me summoning thunder. You've caused quite the commotion. 
But then I would expect no less from you, Muthos. You again. I don't believe we've been introduced. You were in my family's crypt. And now you're here. With, with all of the walls. Hello? Banners, there we go. Lord my mic fucking died. I don't know when. Like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. What? Bro, you're fucking weird. And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done. As you wish. I confess I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me this indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. See, he's just straight up saying he's not gonna kill us, so like, what's the point of this fight? Is he a dragon? Is he gonna be extra annoying jumping around and shit? I vote not. Oh, you bitch. Okay, you got a chain of attacks as well. Bastard. Oh, oh. Big chain. He's gonna teleport away and I'm gonna be annoyed as shit. Yup. Fucking called it, dude. <laughs> if we didn't have that last elixir equipped, <laughs> I would just let the dude kill us. But like, I actually want to try to not die. We're probably going to the- Oh wait, no, we got potions! I didn't realize we had so many potions. We're fine. Well, that's not nice, dude. It follows me. Half stagger. Can we? Nope. This probably isn't the right move, considering how much he moves, but... Bruh, I can't see shit and he's fast. <laughs> this is not <laughs> a good combination. Not our best stagger, but we'll take it. Oh, that random fuck thrown in there. This will kindle your flame. What now? A gift from my liege lord's armory. Gungnir. Wait, is that Odin's fucking sword? Yes. Yes. Dick. Oh god, that's not blocked. <laughs> Gonna follow? No. Okay. That breaks. That makes sense. I don't know if that does or not, because I didn't. Mm. 
Get staggered, you bitch. I don't like this guy. He's a little dickhole. Come on, stagger his ass. Perfect, dude. Let's go. That's a pretty decent stagger. I'll take it. Damn near 40k. Wait, what is... What the fuck is this shit? I don't, oh God, I don't like this. <laughs> no, back up. Where's he? Oh shit, it's those, okay. It's a jump. Ah. <laughs> There's shit everywhere. Chocobo, what's up, my guy? Oh, damn. Is this safe? No, no, it's not. <laughs> okay. I have not figured out this guy's attack pattern at all. Creeping darkness. Oh, this looks fun. Ow. Uh, why is there a ring on me? Oh, well, that wasn't nearly as bad as I was expecting. Get cold. Fuck it, dude. I'll <laughs> just tank the attack. I don't care. I got potions and shit. Can I... I don't know if that actually did anything or not. Oh, fuck. I can't see. Where are you? Ah! Come into the tornado. There you go. Stay in the tornado. Damn it, dude. I was trying to time it so I could get the re re the, the parry basically. Just die already, please. I can tank it. We're fine. Mm. 
Nope. Come on. Just die, you dick. <laughs> Dracula hardly knew ya. Bruh, we don't freaking... Bruh. He won't die. Thank you. Torgle got him. <laughs> Thank God, dude. <laughs> Dude was annoying. What did he expect to happen, though? Like, he couldn't kill us by his, like, own words. So, he was either going to die to us, or what? Just beat us up a bit and leave? I don't understand what his plan really was there. Strong. My leash. <laughs> You're all right. As are you, I see. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. Hate to see it, my guys. I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. Bro, well, maybe you should tell us? <laughs> Keeping secrets ain't gonna help shit. I think we found Barnabas, though. Or rather, he found us. Leaving so soon? Mythos. It's the king. Indeed, you may kneel before Barnabas Tharm, warden of Ash and king of Walu. Get back. There's no way we're fighting him already, right? Like, legit fighting him? I didn't expect it to go down with him until, like, we got to elude. Again, though, he can't kill us. So what's his plan here? Break our spirit, maybe, because Ultima? Wild and impetuous. I expected more of the boy who bested my Lord Commander. Yet I see why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. <laughs> But Muthos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The Lord's vessel. Your purpose. My purpose? To surrender my mind and body to that thing. Majesty, my purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. Bruh. Dude needs a chill. Miss Revenge Driven Clive? I don't know. I like uh, Grown Up Clive, to be honest. Try it. 
<laughs> oh, semi prime just gets fucking kicked back. Like. Honestly, he's lucky he's not fucking cut in half, dude. <laughs> like, that's the whole point of his sword. It cuts through anything. Oi! I'm guessing Barnabas Hurry! just didn't want to. Like, Hurry! Jill dead? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I don't think she's dead. <laughs> I think she's still alive. Because <laughs> we never got the payoff, man, of them getting close to each other. Will he be alright? The phoenix can mend the flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly's filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we were up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <laughs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't That's impressive, though, thinking. that he has that kind of to control over like <laughs> what he can and can't cut, <laughs> or like does and no doesn't cut, rather. Like comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but you've already done so much for us, pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life, and for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? A little bit. A little bit. I wouldn't go that far. Clive! You're awake. My boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father, who taught me that. Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. <laughs> like we had a choice in a guess. What of the royalists? Fucked off, a lot of them, along with the galleon. With the king on board, no doubt. The Iron Hay, I wouldn't say without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? Well, she kept the king busy while the others stretch you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. 
What? <laughs> Since when is that a thing? We must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the king. I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him. Because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? <sighs> well, of course I do. My dad has seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings... If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. <laughs> Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. <laughs> Bro, I didn't even fucking think of that. Perhaps. <laughs> but the world really Jesus won't save itself. Christ, yeah. Oh, fuck me, dude. <laughs> yeah. My brother, the Phoenix, he's dead. If only we had some magical way of just knowing if a fucking Icon's alive or not. Jesus Christ. That's fucking great, dude. Oh, God. But the drama for the first half of the game. It wouldn't have been convenient. <laughs> Honestly, though, I expected him to go back to Revenge Driven Clive here. Like, I thought that's how that was going to play out. They were going to be like, Jill, she didn't yeah, come back. And he's like, oh, no, Jill, the love of my life. I never got a fucker. And then, you know, like, super pissed. But guess not. He's just like, ah, oh, it's chill, dude. We'll figure it out. No worries. All right. So we got new everything, apparently. Uh, Side quests? Not yet, but there will be. There's hunts. There's, okay. So, well, hope you guys enjoyed the story, because we're probably going to side quest for the next couple story, of days now. Clive. Oh, Jesus, I didn't expect right. this. Them I just wanted to shop, dude. Might be they weren't just tales plucked out of thin air. You see, there was a time when I <laughs> weren't too particular about who I sold steel to, so long as they paid me the right price. Some women lust after blood, others after flesh, but me... I were always one for gold. I mean... To satisfy that lust, I sold to opposing armies. Stabbed my every client in the back. Made myself the most hated woman in the twins. But then one day... One day I met a man who made me a different kind of offer. Said he'd give me access to a realm-wide community of like-minded individuals in constant need of steel and sundries. On the condition, I sold to him and his alone. Was that the first time you met Sid? Aye. And I fell right into his damn trap. He was true to his word, so I ended up being true to mine. And I soon started making the best profits I've seen since taking up the trade. And all without aiding or abetting any outlaws. Except Sid himself, that is. He told me about his plan to topple the Mother Crystals, you know. Said that with them gone, the realm would want for all manner of things. An opportunity for the likes of me to mint gill. Why, I reckon an enterprising individual could find herself the richest damn in the twins. And that's when he had me. I emptied my stores that day and moved into the Ardaway proper. And the rest, as they say, is ancient bloody history. So we gotta take another trip down memory lane now off, before the game wraps up? Is that how this damn. works? Not for lack of trying, mind. But I can say that I have never been happier. You've all shown me there are some things more precious than Gil. That there are. So don't you go messing it all up. Or you'll have me to answer to. Very nice, Karen. Can we just buy our shit now, dude? That's, that's the whole reason I came here. <laughs> so happy to hear about the day you turned your life around and shit, but uh, I don't care. <laughs> what do you got for me? A rune blade. Not bad, not bad. But we can probably make something better. Rune belt, rune crescents. Uh, is that everything? That would be everything. Sell the valuables. We don't need the valuables for anything, right? I don't think so. Come again. Just lonely and wants oh, to talk. Don't. I mean, I don't, though. <laughs> Sorry, would it be? Oh, thank God. He's not going to sit around and talk forever. Um...
Okay. I mean, it's better, so yeah. Let's go ahead and make it, then. Good while. Did we ever end up making the diamond sword? No, I guess not, huh? Guess there was no point to. Uh, the room belt plus one is worse, but is the room belt plus two better? No, also worse. So, fuck that one. Go ahead and upgrade our rune blade, though. My best work. And before we instantly get something better. Room belt, and this one's better. No scratches, alright? Equip. And upgrade. Yeah, that should do you. And, and I believe that's everything from you. Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. That's a new one. I am excited to play the Tactics games, though. I do want to play the first one first, but... Does it matter, Chocobo? Because like, I know they're they're related, but, like, are they... Is Tactics Advance a direct sequel, or... Does it really not matter which order you play them in at all? Okay, so we got new hunts. No, okay. I'm not terribly surprised to hear they aren't, but if I wasn't sure. You seek, we... And hopefully, fingers crossed, sometime in the next 35 days, give or take, I should be getting my fancy Game Boy, which will be nice. Make uh, streaming the game a lot easier, because the 1080p HDMI output and all that shit. Uh, and I can play games on the go, which will be nice if I want to do like any grinding or anything. Doesn't really do us much good for anything else, but... The Sickle in Dalmechia. Really? Another Dalmechian hunt? Okay. Didn't expect more of them at this point. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Come to claim your just desserts. Fifteen fifty. Best of luck out there, Sid. But not yet. Are we allowed to leave yet? Yes. Okay. Sickle and Dalmechia. Both tactics are set inside Grimoire, so maybe, but irrelevant. Okay. <laughs> That's like I said. I knew they were related in some way. I just didn't know like how closely or anything like that. Okay. I'm guessing it's either here in the Cattery, or here in just this hole. Uh, what's the best way to get there? I guess just coming here. Is that the closest? Close enough. Oh, both tactics advance. Ah. I thought you were talking about tactics and tactics advance. I don't have, uh, what's it called? A2 or something like that? Is that what it's called? I don't remember. So we have a pretty good chance of Jack 2 in your future? Yeah, I haven't checked the votes too recently, but, um, yeah. <laughs> I remember it was pretty high up the last time I saw it, so. Yeah, okay. I'll have to get it soon. A2, that is. I don't even remember what the creature is we're actually looking for. Are those just foot pads? Yeah, I don't care about them. Fuck off. Won't be for a while. <laughs> you think you have it somewhere though? Yeah, I uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Not only because, well, we saw Final Fantasy X, which uh, is gonna take a little while, but we also have at least one of the tactics games first. Because I'm definitely not playing A2 before 1. And I know the original tactics game can take up to like 100 hours or so. Depending on how completion-y you try to be with it. So yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a little while, for sure. People haven't beaten 16. People that didn't like it. People that haven't thought it yet. Stream. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't bought it yet. <laughs> bought it yet? Bro, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Alright, you know what? These guys, dead. 
Oh, one's alive. Fuck you! Nope. Oh shit, we're going too far anyways. We need to go this way. Is it this? This. At least I'm guessing this. Hey, Chocobo, while we got you here, what are the chronoliths? Like, what do you get for completing them? I've pretty much already decided I'm not going to, but like, do you actually get anything cool for beating them or is it just trophy? Little while for which thing I got lost in that. <laughs> Gonna be a little while before we get to playing tactics too. Final Fantasy Tactics too. Uh don't care. Cause tactics is a long ass game. Also my brother has been bugging me forever about playing some Persona games. So one of these days I'm gonna add Persona 1 to the list of games to complete and that's another hundred hours so like you get the last curiosity two trophies yeah fuck that <laughs> I'm not doing it not worth it I'm not trophy hunting in this game I mean I'll have my save if I change my mind at some point but I'm just at that point in my life where I don't care about trophies that much they're nice and all but nah can I hit both of you? Okay. A little bit farther. A little bit farther. Wow, damn, dude. <laughs> that didn't take long to find. Yeah, I'm guessing probably about two and a half years. Uh, if you still have it then. Um, <laughs> that's, just, that's my best guess. Wait, are you not here? Oh, that's where we fought the one. Fuck. Where is this thing? <laughs> it said the sickle. All right, well, I'm gonna kill these things just in case it's like hiding up here somewhere, but it's not looking like it. Y'all got like no health left, chill. Probably just run away. I don't think they would have a uh, hunt hiding up here in this tiny ass area, but. Where else in the sickle would it be? Not through here. I mean, I guess maybe this little area? Because we came from over here. And I didn't see it there. And that's like the fields of Karava or whatever. How far does the sickle go technically? Like, could it be up here? Maybe? I don't usually ride the chocobo, but Let's this looks like a good moment for it. Like the wind. Let's go! <laughs> Jesus fuck. Ah, it controls like ass! I wish it was a little bit quicker. <laughs> if it just feels a little slow, I'm not gonna lie. I need a motorcycle mount, please. Can we be Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? I mean, it wouldn't be here, right? With these goblin muggers? Yeah, no. I didn't expect it to be, but... You never fucking know in this game, dude. Fuck those goblins! Fuck that guy! Here? Bro, that's fucking it, isn't it? <laughs> is it a fancy ass chocobo? It is. Jesus Christ, dude. It was right there. We ran past it. The dread comet. That's like no 
Wait, what? You don't have a... Oh, God. You don't have a gauge. So just fucking everything, then. I can't see you, but I can hit you. Oh, you bastard. Oh, it's all the way over there. It's fine. Bro, how the fuck did we parry anything? I'm just mashing buttons. At least he doesn't teleport, man. <laughs> I'll take the wins where I can get him. He does pretty decent damage, though. Ah, there's multiple. Jesus, man. Where did those come from? You bastard. Oh. Jump. Jump. <laughs> your rain okay so this is gonna be a bunch of them i assume any more yep they still coming probably don't get too close to the meteor that seems dumb bruh when's this shit gonna end oh jesus christ dude Jesus! <laughs> oh my god, dude! This chocobo is kicking my fucking ass! My god, I did not expect all that! You're dead. Just fucking die. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's a good chocobo. Why can't Ambrosia fight like that, dude? Hey, level up. Is it true level caps 50? I remember somebody telling me that, but I didn't look into it at all. There was nothing I could do. Why am I even picking this up? Yep, <laughs> that's about what I expected to get from that. I think you were 46 when you stopped. I don't know how much more to the game there is exactly, but 46 is looking about right. How are we supposed to do our duty when the hills are crawling? God. If you're here, we're the only everyone else. Dead. Don't tell me. They're all right. But it's a long story. At least they didn't make us you listen to the long story. Arms, do you? Well, at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we gave to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. Wait, really? Otto gave her a bunch of shit and she didn't think of that whenever she was like, if only I had my dad's writings, 
Maybe they're in that box of shit Otto gave me of his. Like, Master Sid, have you seen His Highness the Prince? We were to dine together, or so I was going to suggest, before he vanished, that is. I suppose now I'll just have to ask the Bard. So Dion's gone, huh? Wonder where he disappeared off to. Oh shit, Tarya ain't here either. Fuck she go. You're not gonna tell us anything? No. What a dick. To the dungeon to see what Mid's been hiding. Amber and the Lazarus are gone. Do you think Mid's ship will ever sail? Nope. Never. This looks like a strip Sid's old diary. Mitchell already have read it. I'd better keep looking. What if she didn't get around to reading her dad's old diary? Like, shouldn't we just grab it to be safe? What do we have here? Uh, Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. Continue, sir. Bruh. <laughs> We've had no word from Canva for days. Please tell me Mid is all right. <laughs> I remember seeing this doll in Sid's cellar. I wonder if it was Mid's. Smash it open! Huh. What's this tucked inside it? Massive amounts of drugs. Mid it all, I know you like your riddles, so I reckon you'll appreciate this one. Of all my inventions, this one's the best, and so when choosing its place of rest, I recalled your opus, Daughter Dearest, and now it sleeps there in the first? I'm going to have to work on that last rhyme. <laughs> Good work. I know you like your riddles, so I reckon you'll appreciate this one. Of all my inventions, this one's the best, and so when choosing its place of rest, I recalled your opus, Daughter Dearest, and now it sleeps there in the first? Um... The fucking... Filters for the water. I couldn't remember what they were called. Sid's best invention. Huh. That sounds promising. So Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. What would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. Swear to God, dude, if I have to talk to Otis just for him to tell me it's the fucking water filter, it's going to be the water filter. Does she look different? Did she change her clothes? I don't remember her being so bright before when we talked to her. Well, did you find anything? Possibly. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first opus was. Opus? That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have oh. been more than 11, 12 when she cobbled that thing together. I didn't realize she built that. Surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box had to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. Hello? There we go. It's working again. <laughs> okay. Bruh. So I fucked up. I hope it's just the cord. For it. Noodle, thank you for the five bits, love. I hope it's just the cord that's plugged into my mic that I fucked up and not the actual, like, port. I should be able to fix it either way, but 
It's gonna be more of a pain in the ass if I gotta take off the micro B port and well, solder a new one into it, onto what it. What didn't you break? Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break your cash gun. <sighs> Fucking kids, What's dude. It? It's broken, except when it isn't. See? And you had nothing to do with this. No, nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we pressed all the buttons. Like this. So what, is this gonna be a fucking puzzle? We gotta like hit the buttons in the right order? No. Something caught on one of the gears. Did you break it? Can you fix it? No, I mean, yeah, yes. There. How about now? You fixed it! You said fixed it! He more than fixed it! Yeah! New music! Huh. Never heard this one before. They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. This what, dude? <laughs> you haven't shown us shit. There we go. Well, don't look at me. I can tell you it's important, though. Sid showed it to me <laughs> once and said as much. Said it was Bruh. <laughs> the stuff dreams were made oh, of. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> They're drugs. Let's just hope it's the stuff ships that are made of as well. Pipes just filled Indeed. with drugs. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. I know, you really don't. Anytime they do anything, man, the camera's just panned a little bit too high or a little bit off to the side, like... Guess they didn't want to spend the time, you know, making any animations for something outside of combat. I wouldn't mind it every once in a while, but it literally is every time. <laughs> Fade to black or camera and just looking in the wrong spot. Just the two I was looking for. Hey, it's Tarya. Uh, You're back. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion left. That uh, bro, we knew that already. Or stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelisk before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? Uh, ask me when I get back. Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. Bruh, the world is fucking ending. Fight, like, somebody's gotta save it. Life. That's the prince's aversion to bed rest. Waste here, the further the flagship sails. Fuck, <laughs> dude. Side quest, no. Blacksmith's blues number three. So at least that's new gear, I guess. Oh fuck. Okay. Um. Let's go talk to. Oh, not the smith. I don't even know who we're talking to. Wait, I haven't looked at the world map. Okay. It's just these two? I can deal with just these two. It's not too bad. Oh, August, of course. 
Blackthorn told me you helped him out again. Tough for that. Speaking of which, I'm actually a bit, um... Worried about him. And you want my advice. Afraid so. It's a bit of a funny one, this, but... I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission, and he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. So, obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed, only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around... Oh I shit, what? Maybe... Maybe... Finish your sentence. Again. Well, I suppose there's no point leaving him to stew. Cheers, Clive. Oh, is this like sure a, to pay him a visit is that a good old shit or a bad old shit? Right. I'll meet you by the forge, then. You come along when you're ready. Blacksmith lose three. Ah, no shit. Okay. Wait. <laughs> I was excited for like a second, man, but does that mean more Welcome side quests? Is everything I fucking hope not, dude. And everything promised. Oh, it's 1635. Oh, no. That's not a good answer, man. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Oh, okay. Glory to Gariga. There you are. I'm not a moment too soon. What's happened? Tyre's busy working herself into an early grave. Since the arrival of her latest patient, she's refused to stop, even for a moment. I've tried offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in days. She's pushing herself too hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, will you talk to her? Order her to her chambers, if that's what it takes. Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before too long. Yeah, I definitely need to fix that. <laughs> okay. I know better than to order Taya to do anything. But I'll speak to her. Oh, thank you. I pray you have better luck than I did. I'm hoping it's just the cord. Because that's an easy enough fix. Just find a new one or buy one. Well, Taya, Rodriguez worried about you. And if what he says is true, then so am I. We all admire your dedication, but you do need to rest. It's funny will, coming from us, when like it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. We owe him that much. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die. By nine, yeah. <laughs> the crystal's curse has almost finished its work. If I had the tears, <laughs> I could ease his passing. There you go, Noodle. There's Lord your big Adam. eyes. We've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? <laughs> Not my tears. <laughs> tears of mercy. Oh, God. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. You wouldn't, Ty. Very festive, man. It's perfect sure. for uh, Halloween, for the there fall season, you know? something we can do for him. The orange, the white, Sometimes the skeleton the eyes, like... You do well to remember that, Rodrigue. Fair enough, dude. Fair enough. That's all the more reason you need. We have all the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwam. <laughs> now he's fresh, fucking stoned, so man. <laughs> I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. Just tell me what you need. Oh, shit. There is a species of venom-weeping spider that lives in the forests of Norvent, near Lorbert's Pass. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other. I'd love to if you'd finish fucking talking. Time. Jesus, dude. Thank you, Clive. I won't forget this. Bye.
Ba, 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 ba. Sorry, I was checking my phone, you know, because figured we had 20 minutes anyways. Might as well. Speaking of 20 minutes, I started watching... Uh, fuck, what's it called? <laughs> oh, shit, there's another new quest. Or no. Wait, yeah. Bruh, I thought that was it. Why did this one open up? Anyways, um... Fuck, dude. Sony, Cars, Sweet Tooth, Twisted Metal. There we go. I watched the first episode of Twisted Metal. Yeah, thank you, Noodle. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. I really like... I saw a clip of the show uh, featuring Sweet Tooth, and that's what made me want to watch it. Um... But the first episode, like, you know, they just kind of tease him a little bit. So, we'll see how it goes from there. It's only on Peacock, sadly, which is dumb because <laughs> I hate having a million subscription services. But, yeah. It's part of my uh, internet package, though. The cheap version of it is, so I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. It's Do pretty good. Do you recall the flowers I had you bring back to the yard? Vaguely. Vaguely. Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root, but they rarely flower. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. I can't wait to hear it. I'm going to marry the Morgan beards with Morbles. I know, I know, but hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient-rich ether drawn from their environs. I believe that by grafting a marble vine to a Morgan beard... I don't need an explanation. Well Just tell me what you need, dude. ...might well stimulate the flower to bloom. The endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. And this is how the entire fucking hideaway dies the second time. ...is a single vine... From an ordinary morble. That is correct. A single vine. As for the morble, I fear ordinary may not suffice. But, as luck would have it, a most extraordinary specimen is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosario. Bro. Why, a notice concerning this very creature was only recently posted on the hunt board. How timely. Well, I shan't keep you any longer. I know you have much to do. As do I. Now, where did I put my watering can? We literally just checked the fucking hunt board. What do you mean, man? <laughs> There's not a fucking marble on there. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Back to the hunt board. We know it's somewhere in Rosaria. Bro, I'm scared to open the world map. Because <laughs> now that this extra mission popped up... I'm worried we're just going to open it and there's going to be, like, three in every fucking town of the world. He's a surly soaker. <laughs> Hello, Blackthorn. It's us again, your favorite people. Bloody hell, Clive. Not this again. Oh, and you got better things to do with your time. Yes. That remains to be seen. Yes, I do. August tells me he showed you a ring, and that the sight of it clearly upset you. Would you mind telling us why? Come on, mate. Bottling it up ain't gonna help no one. If it weren't the ring, and it was something I said, then I'm sorry. It was the ring, right? It brought back some unhappy memories, that's all. Memories better left forgotten. Memories of what? There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. But sometimes it helps to talk about them. We really need a and fucking therapy session right now. Is that so hard to understand? Don't be like that. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. That ring you flashed was the work of Zoltan. We apprenticed together back in the day. You've never mentioned him before. Why would I? I haven't seen him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. The ring brought it all back. I could tell it was one of his the moment I saw it. Fast has improved, though. Hmm. More than I thought possible. That thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? 
It matters, because engraving metal's a nightmare, and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. The fact is, I couldn't make anything even half that detailed. So what? You're an armorer, not a jeweler. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm what? not stealing a living <laughs> at some backwater village forge. My armor <laughs> keeps you lot safe, and my sword keeps you dangerous. How am I supposed to afford it? What? Well, afford I'm what? Every I'm so lost, dude. Another blow struck in the name of our cause, so I put my heart and soul into my work, because the curse breakers deserve better than second best, and I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Zoltan. Very well. Why don't we go and pay him a visit, learn his secret? I oh, doubt no, he'd be too happy to see me. Then just this once. Make peace with being second best. Oh, <laughs> therapy. I got you. All your I think you're a little bit behind, my guy. <laughs> keeping the curse breakers armed and armored. Provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. But if you can't, and it's going to distract you, we need to do something about it. What'd you say, Blackthorn? You know he's right. And it's not like you'll be going alone. All right. Wait, is he actually gonna come with us? Magic. No, he's just gonna meet us there. So, where do you reckon old what's his name is then? Zoltan, was it? In Dravozd, my old village. He won't have left. He's the chief. Dravozd, eh? That rings a bell. Not far from Tabor, right? Just north of the fields of Karava. Got that, Clive? Meet us at Dravozd as soon as you can, yeah? And I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get cold feet. Good luck with that. I'll see you there. Some more Dalmechia bullshit. I feel like they overdid Dalmechia a little bit, to be honest with you, man. I don't know if it's just because it's more recent in memory, but... I feel like we spend a lot of time there since it's opened up. Hello, Nectar. I have questions about a morble, please. I hear your brother isn't a fan of carrots, Koopa. If every carrot of Rosaria is anything like the one that just got posted on the board, I can see why. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, shit. I actually get an exit. And not enough time in some break. Yeah, it did seem to fly by a little bit. But I think, like I said, I think my, my sense of time with the game is a little bit warped at least, though. Because, like... The further into the game I get, the more tired of its bullshit I get, you know what I mean? So it's like, it feels like it takes longer for anything to get done. I don't know if that's founded though, or just personal perception. Whispering Waters, Carrot, okay. Uh, Whispering Waters. Okay, it's not that area that hasn't opened yet. Whispering water. Whispering water. Whispering waters. There we go. Who the fuck names a marble carrot, though? It's got, like, an orange top or something. No, fuck you. <laughs> and you. Morble? You gonna appear? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Nobody does bad prop humor. <laughs> That's a terrible joke, dude. <laughs> Fucking carrot top, really? I probably should have bought some shit. Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh shit, okay, we can't... Can't block this one. Uh, we probably got enough. Bro, I thought we were going to completely miss with that shit. I was about to be so mad. All 
Or maybe not. We're staggering it faster than I thought. Probably should have saved the big shit, actually, but... Oh, well. Live and learn all that. Come on, dude. You're staggered. This is bullshit, dude. <laughs> Twenty-five is not too bad considering we used all of our shit early. Oh shit, that's right. Can't block that one. your bad breath, dude. Uh, oh, God. Real stanky-ass breath, dude. This shit again, he's staggered. Oh shit, I didn't mean to... Well, that could have done a lot more damage. Oh well. Little better. Acid rain? Uh, that's a lot of sh things. Oh god. Oh, stop your burrowing. Fuck! That kinda hurt. I don't like all this shit on the ground, dude. Okay, we should be out of range, right? Uh, no, not when we do that, you dumbass. That was fucking dumb. Wait a second. Oh, that's how you do it. I was wondering how you use the... Wait, what? Somebody want to explain to me how we have a last elixir and we're not, like, coming back to life? Upon KO, that's what happened, automatically restores all HP, fills limit gauge, and increases attack power by 10%. And defense by 30% for 60 seconds. We just fucking died! <laughs> Excuse me, game? Do you have to have it equipped to for it to work? The fuck? Never went off for you? <laughs> I mean, it's not... Oh. No? That's fucking weird, dude. Probably for Ultima? 
Why would it only work for him, though? That's fucking... That's wild, man. Hmm. May or may not have taken a completely part in your starting over. Jesus Christ. She's making a blanket, by the way, is what she's talking about. And uh, she made it a little too long and not quite wide enough. So she bought more yarn to make it wider. And I guess she decided it still wasn't wide enough. I'm assuming that's why you're starting over, right, love? <laughs> like... Wanted to be proportionate, okay. Well, so you're trying to make it like as square as possible? Is that what you're doing? Did you at least count beforehand, like to 20 loops? How many loops was it originally? It's one of those ones where it's like, uh, it's just a bunch of loops that you like. Oh, Jesus, it was originally 80 loops long. So, are you sure 20 is the right answer? Because how many loops wide is it right now? You should probably check that first, right? Oh, fuck. I thought he was done. How many loops wide is it right now? Like, with all four things of yarn. If it's 80 long, how wide is it? Yeah, 80 loops long, but how many loops wide? Oh, you're making it 60 long. Okay. I thought you were saying before that you were only going to make it 20 long, and that's why I was like, that seems really fucking short, love. I don't know. Oh, I shouldn't have... Whatever. That's what I get for not paying attention. Proc everything anyways! You're shortening Tawny loops. Okay, okay, okay. I got you, love. Yeah, basically you just like loop a bunch of loops together and that turns into a blanket. <laughs> or I guess technically you could make like a scarf, right? With it. I know it's made for blankets, but there's no reason you couldn't make it long and skinny like a scarf. Okay, well we know he won't stagger. Oh, shit, I was gonna say until that animation's done, but never mind, I guess he will. I guess just fuck us before, when he refused to stagger. Yeah, I kind of wasted a bar there, should've ended a little bit sooner. Oh well. Uh, fuck you! No, 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 no. No wild rage. Oh god, he's still coming. Be fine. Ah, uh, shit. I forgot how to... <laughs> I forgot how to fucking do a deadly takedown for a minute. Oh, God. You got there. It's okay. Oh, you bastard. Just stagger. Thank you. Oh, 
Ah. I was hoping I could get all the moves off, but one short. I don't think we're going to need to stagger him again. I think if we just proc things as they come up, we should be good, maybe. Come on, dude. Okay, <laughs> one more sword swing. That's all we needed. And GG to Mr. Morble. Got the flower. We got a tendril. That's one quest down. Slay a mightling for its eye. Where was that again? Uh, must be Sam Breck, because down there is going to be the new town that we're unlocking for the whatever blues, the blacksmith blues. Why? You Why? Fucking A, dude. Run, damn it. Thank you. Mightling, eh? We fought mightlings before. I suppose we must have at some point. remember what the fuck a mightling is though spiders didn't they say spider some about like their fang don't let the tears touch you or something i don't know i'm confused i'd rather ignore the bombs if possible they're kind of annoying they're very resistant to damage no just keep running clive I mean, if they want to join the fight with the Mightlings, that's fine. I'll fight them while fighting something else. Hello, friends. Look how many of you. <laughs> they are not that big. Bro. <laughs> I... I dropped the one I had and didn't find another one. GG me. Where's the rest of them at? Oh, like right here beside me? Perfect. Do you like to talk to tornadoes? It's over. All right, two side quests down. One more to go. Maybe. Oh, it's the eye. That's what we're collecting. That makes a lot more sense since, you know, we needed tears or whatever. The other ingredients by now. It's leaving here and... Now here. Oh, is it just a town, though? I thought we were going to have to, like, actually explore a little bit, not just here. Wait. Oh, there we go. Kicked out already? No. This charmer ain't letting anyone through. Why are the gates closed? Chief's orders. No one's allowed in without his say-so. Not that I'd have let you in anyway. You look like trouble. I mean, he's I not wrong. Go home. I don't like his voice, do, dude. Prick. It's fucking... <laughs> like... <laughs> you changed a bit, have you, Snotty? No. 
It isn't. Blackthorn. Long time no see, eh? What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely, I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through. All right. Just... Don't go starting anything with the chief. Bruh, <laughs> you... I won't throw the first punch. Oh Not my god. There's no way. Like, when a dude comes up to you like that, you know he's here to start shit, my guy. You really think he's not going to start shit with the chief? He's obviously pissed off, and he said he's here specifically for the chief. Nice low town. Kind of depressing looking, but... So this is Dravoshd. Not much going on, is there? It's a smithing town. When I was a lad, you'd have to shout to be heard over the sound of hammer on anvil. Clive, you're good with people. You speak to Sultan. <laughs> Am I though? You ain't backing out now, are you? Am I good with people? Of bad blood between me and the chief. If someone can build me a bridge, then I'll cross it. All right. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate it. It'll be near the forge on the hill. It was our master's. He'd have inherited it when I left. The forge on the hill. Uh, good luck. You'll be needing it. So why did he leave? Like from the si sound of it, he was the the number one like Smith, number one apprentice. So we had a bit of a life going here. Did it have something to do with the bad blood between him and Zotan? Certainly. Go safely now. Oh, oh, okay. Goes out both ends. Wait. Sorry, <laughs> but if none of you lot can smell this. Oh, they got some mines That's over here? Mine that makes sense, shit. right? Are we allowed to explore them though, or are they blocked off? They're gonna be blocked off. Yeah, I already see the chains. Hmm. Okay. Probably for the best, man. We <laughs> we don't need more shit to explore. The sky sucked up all the ether or something. Would explain why nothing bloody works down here anymore. Maybe. Is that what Ultima did? Sent all the ether to the sky, so then when it rains, it pools? Interesting. Watch it, stranger. There's a fault up ahead. Take a look if you want, but slip and you won't be coming back. Haven't we been through here before? Uh, whatever. Okay. Uh, here. What are we here for? Zoltan. My guy. Hello. We need to talk to you. We hear you're a shit smith, so how are you suddenly making intricate jewelry? I don't know how fucking engraving is supposed to help us make better swords for, you know, our curse breakers, but apparently it's important. So I'd like for you to share the secret with your good old friend, Blackthorn. I do hear you guys were best buds once upon a time. Hotter! Hotter, damn it! Those miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron! Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. Keep the gates closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out. Before things turn nasty. Blackthorn's here. What did you say? He's traveled a long way to see you. Yes, has he? 
He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest you take him with you when you leave. Didn't you apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! These bearers' flames are next to bloody useless! We're never going to be able to fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals. I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. I like to see you guys conjure flames, like, regardless of how hard, uh, heart, how hot they are. That prick knows exactly where the exit is. He's not wanted here. And neither are you. Maybe we can teach you how to build a fire? <laughs> Since apparently that's beyond you. I understand, like, the magic was super useful and shit, but seriously, how do people not know how to do basic shit like build a fire to run a forge, man? Wild. If we can't fire the forges, how are we going to earn our keep? Shut your hole. Chief will think of something. Let me guess. Zoltan told you to piss off. Yeah. As a personal favor to him, yes. I was gonna say not so few, yeah, not so few words. Yes. At least he didn't beat about the bush. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> There'll be no talking him round. Not after what I did. Which is what exactly? If we're to help, we need to know what turned the village against you. I left. Dravoshd, Sultan. The burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft, who labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind, who are in it for different reasons. People like Zoltan, whose work is quick and cheap. The kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit and divvy it out among themselves. There wasn't a single day we weren't each other's throats. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. You would have torn Dravos in half had it gone on. So, I left. You didn't have to do that. Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. Dravos prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. Until the crystals run out at any rate. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. It depends on how you look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up with ways of doing without. So why not I mean, share? Where there's a will, there's a way. We what have the technology. Give it to the people. You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the great smith alive just because I happen to be the last. Clive, Dravosh won't last long without his furnaces. So, do you think it's time we shed Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it, it's your decision to make. Hold on, Wait, Blackthorn. Can we say no? Do we have the option? Because that would be hilarious. They'd give us an edge over the rest, and you'd be throwing it away. All right. No, nope, no choice. Fuck me, dude. <laughs> Why? I won't abandon it Give me choices, faith. damn it. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. Let this. I mean, I wasn't gonna say no anyways, but like, <laughs> I would have liked the choice to. Prison of the crystals blessing. Dravosht will show the world that it's possible. Wouldn't you agree, August? When you put it that way, of course. It's like hearing Sid speak from beyond the grave. Thank you, Clive. Shall I go and fetch the plans, then? I know I'm off by heart. I'll be needing some help, though. Building a furnace isn't exactly a one-man job. Do us a favor and round up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two with you, August. Uh, all right, then. And I've got a job for you, too, Clive. Finding me some salamander skin. Hey, I just happened to know where the there's one at. Nothing else will stand the heat. Luckily for us, salamanders feed out in the fields of Carava. 
Time for a spot of hunting, then. Wait, would there happen to be one closer, like... Here? Because, I mean, there's one, like, right here. Can I just go kill that one? Buff, we can't fire the forges. How are we going to earn our keep? Does it... Does it matter which one we kill? <laughs> I feel like it's gonna matter, and that's gonna Sorry. fucking suck, dude. Oh, yeah. But I just... I know there's one right fucking here, and that seems a lot closer than running out through the fields, dealing with whatever random creatures get in the way. So I can just hop down here, kill this one, teleport back up to the top instead of running all the way around, and be done with it. Uh, I don't see him. Damn, he <laughs> staggered quick. Guess I'm just used to fighting like hunts and shit, you know, where <laughs> they're a lot harder to fucking stagger than these things are. Just a regular beast. God, that move's fucking sick, dude, whenever you get it off in the right time like that. Bruh, you're, you're fucking staggered. Go down. Did that complete the quest? No. Bruh, that's a fucking salamander. Why <laughs> Why does it matter which salamander? That's so fucking dumb, dude. Whatever. Alright then, to the fields. Have to find the right salamander, I guess. Did the developers just forget they put a salamander right outside of town, or they purposefully just telling people to fuck off, like... Fuck that thing. Not literally, it looks scary. Alright, Mr. Salamander, where are you? Should be popping in any moment now. There's one, I think. Is that a salamander? In the field there? I think so. Yeah, that's a salamander. Let's make this quick, shall we? Oh, did it have to be specifically a desert salamander? Maybe that was the problem. Still fucking stupid, but it's better than the alternative. I don't care, I can tank your damage. Okay, well, I can tank your damage, but I still need you to go, like, not fucking stagger me constantly. And done. Did we get the fucking hide or whatever we came here for? Noodle with another five bits. Thank you, love. I dare say that will be enough for
Surprised you're not saving your bits up for next month. Huh. Help you have the chance of being a uh, number one bidder. What's this all about then? Don't know. Any trouble finding the skin? Nothing I couldn't handle. There was trouble, let me tell you. <laughs> You've given up? No, never give up, love. There's always a chance. There should be plenty. Right then, time to put these louts to work. If everyone pulls their weight, we'll be finished in no time. It's only been like two I'll months, be love. It hasn't been that long. I honestly didn't think it'd work. But it's hot enough, all right. And without a single crystal in sight. What can I say? We're bloody you know geniuses. Don't you? Well, Sid was, at least. <laughs> I do, yeah. Dravoshed is saved. Sorry about earlier. Nine hundred and thirty? That's a fair bit. And take back everything I said. That thing you built us is an honest to God's marvel. You saved our village. It's Blackthorn you should be thanking. He oversaw the construction. Give this to him, would you? What is it? Pet coal cinders. After he left, I spent years trying to eke the most out of our forges. That there was my answer. Chuck it in the fire, and your forge will burn hotter for longer, which will do wonders for your steel. Our secret for yours. Only fair. I've always envied Blackthorn. Since the day I became chief, I spent every spare moment trying to match up to the bastard. Twenty dollars to your good wait. Are you spending Google money on something else? Like why not? He's a genius. Plain and simple. I mean, obviously, if there's something else you want to spend it on, you should. But like, <laughs> but he took all his talent and left, gifted and free. Was it any wonder I hate his guts? The cinders would mean more coming from you. I need to forgive him first, and that's not going to happen. Nah, they love each other. Well, you know what they say? Oriflam weren't built in a day and all that. These things take time. Especially when they involve two geezers who hold grudges tighter than their hammers. But what matters is, Blackthorn's got that twinkle back in his eye. And I'd call that a job well done. <laughs> so would I. I reckon he's going to be at it a while yet, though, so why don't you head off without us? I'll see that the old git gets home safe and sound. See that you both do. I'll save the cinders till then. All right. It'll be a nice little surprise for him. I'm scared to open the map. Okay, nothing yet. But there's a chance that'll change once we turn in these quests. Oh, man. I'm praying. I'm praying <laughs> that we don't get any more side quests. At least not right now, man. Cole said it was an army of a cash. Wait, you still don't know what happened to Mid and the others? They're fine, dude. We dealt with it. Thank goodness you're back. Taya looks like she's about to collapse. Is this what you needed? Yes, it is. Thank you, Clive. No problem, BB. I'm loath to give a patient Alicia, but Taya's right. Sometimes it's all we can do. A single dose dulls even the most agonizing pain and all other sensation with it. It may be a gentle way to die, but it is death nonetheless. I wish there was another way. What exactly causes the curse, man? Is it like 
are they using up the ether in their body? How are you feeling? Light, my dear. I don't know. Drifting on waves. Good. Just relax. Let the waves carry you to a better place. Thank you, Daya. I'm so proud of you. Are they going to tell us what their history is? Sounded like a fatherly moment there, but... I don't think that's her dad, though. He's gone. Thank you, Rodrigue. And you, Clive? Well, see that he's properly laid to rest. Where do we bury the dead out here in the middle of the nowhere? you helped today was my mentor back mm. in the Southern Isles on the front lines of some meaningless war. So father like. I was like. still a child when they shipped me to their triage tents to treat the wounded with my gift. But in such blighted lands, I was next to useless until he taught me the true physicer's art, that is. An art we would be lost without. Tears of mercy were his gift to the bearers of the world. A respite from the agony of the curse's end. And a kindness Sid would have approved of. You know as well as I what life is like for a bearer soldier. Marched from one battle to the next, never knowing which might be your last. A commander may care nothing for the bearer spent in his service. But my mentor's gift gave the dying one fleeting moment of tranquility before the end. I've no tears left, Clive. I've seen too many of my friends taken. Something needs to change. And we need to be the ones to change it. And we will. I, I mean, I know where to get Christ. tears from now if you... I can just go get you I some more so. tears, dude, if that's what you need. <laughs> Maybe make a whole little expedition of it, because if there were more of us there, you know, somebody with a more skilled hand, we could probably get more than one eyeball out of the six spiders or whatever that we killed, or I killed. I imagine they probably have at least 12 between the six of them. Put them to use. If Amber... Not huh, Amber and Lazarus, whatever, what do we do? Are they talking about stones or were those people? I don't remember. Sid, heard you were in Canva fetching young men. Maybe those are the stones we gave to like Karen and uh Martha? Were those Amber and is Lazarus a stone? I don't fucking know. Do you have to be so fucking far away, dude? Ah, guardrails, our number one enemy. Uh, Sid, I uh, can't help but notice that your satchel is twitching in a most violent manner. Here, yeah. it's your problem now. What an amazing specimen. The flesh positively throbs with vitality. That's what she said. <laughs> successfully graft this Fuck, to the dude. Morgan beards. Uh, when? When? I successfully graft this to the Morgan beards. I suspect the results will be immediate. I shall begin at once. Sounds like he's creating a new breed of monster, man. Like, if he's gonna get the hideaway killed. I refuse this reality that they're showing us right now. That thing fucking came to life and murdered everyone. Just as I hoped. Witness how the Morgan Beards have taken to the blighted soil. How they bloom with heretofore unseen vigor. Why, I dare say such a vine graft would yield similar results when applied to other specimens as well. I'm glad I could be of assistance. You've not only helped us, Sid, you've saved us. 
Do you recall the extract with which I provided you before? I took a moment to distill some more, but this time with the petals from the invigorated Morgan beards. And would you believe? Its Let's potency go. has nearly doubled. Even better you potions. Must this file as thanks for your assistance. The rest, I shall give to Taya. I think that's what it did when he gave it to us before. <laughs> Made the potions better. Necessary for further increasing consumable potency. Wait, so do we have to craft it? Oh no, it just does it. Okay. <laughs> Let's go! You have obtained a file of invigorated Morgan Beard Extract. Further increase in the potency of most consumables. Both potions and high potions now restore even more. Uh, okay. Another shit lasts longer. Very nice. The honestly, other than being a bit, like, long-winded, I don't mind the side quests like that that actually do shit for us. Other than just giving us a tiny bit of experience and... What not? Blackthorn, hello. I brought Gentlemen. you some stuff. I see you both some cinders or something. Piece. Yeah, well, we didn't want to ask to welcome. The whole village turned out for a go on the bellows after you left. Everyone except Zoltanes. Didn't see I nor air of him. Oh, but that reminds me. I have something for you. Oh. Fuck me. I'm tired of shit. Pickle Cinder. How'd you come by this? Oh, wait, so he already knows of it? So, how's that supposed to help in any way if you already. You're sure he wanted me to have it? I don't get it. I'm sure. He didn't say so, but I think he wants to forgive you. <laughs> Imagine that. Uh, you know I could never leave this place, don't you? Every time you put on mail, you and the curse breakers are trusting me with your lives. There's no greater honor for a smith than that. I'm not about to go crawling back to Zoltan for forgiveness, but I will make good use of his cinder. And if that helps save even a single life, then he'll have my gratitude. What was it you said he called me? Huh? A genius? And he spent sleepless night trying to copy me, did he? Sounds like I better get to work. I've got a reputation to uphold. Don't let it get to your head now, my guy. Blackthorn. I don't know how you pair put up with me sometimes, but I'm grateful all the same. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. About to put Zoltan back in his place. Remember when Blackthorn was a man of so little words? Like... Stubborn bastards. A little healthy competition should be good for him. You're not wrong. Still, it's a shame him and Zoltan couldn't let bygones be bygones. No use grumbling about it now, though. Blackthorn's happy. Or as near to happy as he gets. And that's good enough for me. Yay! Did we get a new recipe? For new equipment? Or a Boris design draft? Didn't we already have... Ouroboros unlocked? Maybe it was a different Ouroboros? I don't know. Yep. Use the forge. So be. Oh. Okay, so it's not a sword. Aha! We need a stone tongue, so there's still at least one more hunt there that we need to do. And then... I was the sons of Ouroboros. Okay. Stained loincloth. Anything else? So there's at least two more hunts still to do. It's knowledge, you see. Probably a couple more than that, though, honestly. Because I imagine there's a... Uh, recipe for a better sword Cole said it was an army of to go with the the other Ouroboros gear so we'll need to unlock that still 
Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Hello. Here's everything we've received we and everything get promised. Clutch mine? The fuck is clutch mine? All yours. That's new. Sorry, but you're not quite there yet. Ooh, Genji gloves. That could be good. Best of luck out there, Sid. Enigma. <laughs> okay, I wanted to see. There's a, yeah, clutch mine. For centuries, these strange egg-shaped clusters of ore were ignored by Walud's Pikmin, since clutch mine is brittle, dull, and of little use in its own right. But when it was later discovered that the substance could be added to metals to increase their strength and hardness, it was mined to the point of exhaustion. Ah, so that's probably something we'll come across and we'll lewd more. It would make sense. And I don't think there's anything else, though. That matters, at least. The final... P oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we need to turn in. Wonder how long this cutscene's gonna be. Do we do it real quick tonight? I think we do. It is 254 though. Hmm. Fuck it. One cutscene. Just hopefully they don't decide to Kojima it up and make it an hour long. <laughs> Is this really necessary? What do we need the sweeping shot for? Just get to the point. Bro. <laughs> what? Oh, God. Oh, hey! The King of Rosalia and uh, the, our, our uncle. Life? My dad had it all worked out. He'd be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> Can we catch them? The Ainea is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. This is the Enterprise! And the world's never seen anything like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't. Clive, what do you know of Barnabas Tharm? Not much. He's a dick. Only what the bards sing. That he sailed to ash from southern lands. That it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword, Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. But don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. What we must. <laughs> the light! I thought this cool was meant to be hidden! <clears throat> Mid! Company! Hey? We'll hold them off until the ship is ready! But hurry! Bollocks! All hands! Man your stations! Fucking Torgal running around, dude. How's Torgal helping? Oh, he's just coming to meet us. Okay, I, th I thought he was gonna help with the fucking ship, dude. Why is fucking voice breaking, dude? Is he scared? You're not allowed to be scared, Clive. You gotta be everybody else's rock, man. Oh, well, I guess we're doing one fight real quick. Hopefully real quick, that is. I thought you said 
said that ship was fast! Wait, does she have a fucking megaphone? She just got everything, doesn't she? Getting the big boys now, eh? Oh, shit. I don't know if we didn't guard or if he broke through. Come on, thank you, game. If everybody wants to attack, now would be a great time for it, just saying. Yeah, that's not guard. <laughs> nice juggle, dude. Knocked us right up in the air. Got us perfectly as we are coming back down. I don't care. Tornado for the win! Uh, guard? Nope. Just, <laughs> just guard. Can't see to do anything else. Oh wait, no, 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 we're good. We Gucci. I can see a little bit. And he dead. Steel silk. <laughs> Fuck's sake. That was easy enough. All right, you lousy lot. Get your asses on board. She's ready to sail. You heard the captain. <laughs> I'm convinced you could craft every single item in this game and still be Five. left with plenty more ma uh, materials, man. Like, look who it is. Confound it. Then it is as I feared. Sleipnir is no man, but a creation of Odin. Oh, hi. There's a bunch of them now. <laughs> Phoenix's fiery fundament. Have you no normal enemies? Not really, to be honest. We are right, Lord Rosfield. A boy, there was a time people called me the executioner. Who was my eyes? No matter, heads will roll all the same. Mate, new plan. You leave, we follow. Follow? Swimming, are you? Oh, bugger me. Way anchor. Engine dead oh, slow God. ahead. Uh, okay, so they're they're weaker versions of them. That's good, at least. Is there like one big version still? Are more gonna be summoned? More getting summoned. Okay. Oh, 
As long as it takes. Unless you have a best idea. Well, I've already killed at least five of the bastards. That's it? Fuck Just it. five? Let's do the luck. Oh, okay, yep. Big dude's around here somewhere. Is he? Or do they just randomly use some of the abilities of him? Oh, dude, these are just basic axe enemies. This isn't scary at all. Hyped it all up for nothing, man. Should we make for the ship? They just keep coming. knew Gav and Byron would become best of friends, man? It's nice. Bro, these guys got jumps. Even fucking Byron, man. Didn't know they all had wings. except for Clive, I guess. <laughs> Clive can't jump for shit. Alright, we need to do our abilities. <laughs> I didn't realize we had almost 13,000 points saved up. What do you want? That's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. <sighs> you are my offering to Muthos. I would not see you damaged. Hmm. Wait, we're still in the free cities? Would have thought we would have been in the narrow by now. Stations. Every bell spent treading water puts another league between us and the galleon. I don't suppose Mid has a spare engine. <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye, and they'd have us live and die on their terms, which should answer your question. <laughs> You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. 
On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Brandalar can provide them. Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. Good luck, Uncle. And may fair winds attend you. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. <laughs> oh, bro. That's good. That's good. Keep up, my boy. Well, we can't have him showing us up now, can we? We would never hear the end of it. I don't usually completely agree with Taria, but yeah, you're <laughs> looking like you probably should have spent a bit more time in bed. feel bad for Dion. I like him. <laughs> All right. Well, with that, will it let us save? It will not. Son of a bitch, dude. Uh, okay, well, it's probably going to be another cutscene. <laughs> Why even show us the world map if we're not allowed to save or do anything anyways? Might as well have just rolled into the next one, man. There's a lot of sea between here and Walud, but any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Maintain our current bearing north-northeast, and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash from the south? With these winds in those waters, it'd take him forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us lot, anyway. I say we do as she tells. Sails on the horizon. She's ours. Bro, that's not on the horizon. That's like right there. And keep those furnaces fed. Do you feel that, Jill? All hands, battle stations. Let's see what this skill can do.
I feel like all Jill has wanted her, or Jill, Mid's wanted her entire life is to be a pirate, dude. Are we ever going to be allowed to save? <laughs> when I said one more cutscene, I didn't realize all this shit was going to happen. I'm glad for story progress, but fuck me. <laughs> Don't come here. Stay where you guys are. <laughs> Fuck. I just want to save. Oh, wrong one. Uh, whatever. It'll work. I can't fucking hit him, he's too high in the air. More enemies? They never stop! Oh, you're. Oh, you're a bastard, that's what you are. Is there more? Oh, he's hiding. Look at him, you little dick. Can you cast some protect on? Oh, you're a bastard. I want you to know. Torkoal using magic. I mean, I knew he was like magic. I didn't realize he could use magic though. Cool. Nate, what's up, man? Didn't realize you were still here, to be honest.
you want to die, I wouldn't mind, Mr. Royal, whatever your name is. You know, some of the mess from painting. Fair, fair. Is that it? I can save? I think I can save. Okay. I'm going to explore the top of this ship real quick. Just make sure there's nothing decent that I'm missing. I don't expect there to be, but... There's not much land to cover. And then we're finally going to fucking save, man. Yeah, I don't see any chests or anything. Okay. Go to the door so I don't forget where the fuck we're going, but I'm not going through it. <laughs> Just going to... Right fucking here. Start. System. Save. There we go. I'm going the fuck to bed. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me while we played some more Final Fantasy 16. We'll be back tomorrow to play some more of it. Uh, hopefully finishing the game tomorrow. Fingers crossed, but I don't know, man. Depends how many side quests we end up getting. Until then, though, have a wonderful night, everybody. Thank you one last time. And as always, uh, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all.